it's morning here and we've got sky and there's copper and sky is going for a procedure today she's gonna have some dental work done a couple of teeth extractions so this is before the house gets crazy Isla's still asleep and we usually go for potty around 7 a.m so i'm gonna take the dog's potty before sky and i go to the vet and i drop sky off for her her procedure come on guys let's go we're gonna go potty let's go potty you ready to go guys let's go it's a beautiful day here so there's gonna be no no clouds in the sky a sunny day so we get up every morning i usually get up every morning around 5 5 36 and the dogs join me and we usually go for a potty slightly earlier but i was working in the house this morning rather than my office so we're now just going for our first potty of the day Copper and Sky get their business done. So here we are, the birds are out. We've had a, we've had a cat that's been coming to our garden over the past week or so. Isla's been giving this cat a lot of attention, but the dogs aren't the biggest fans of our new feline friends. So they've been on alert every time we've gone outside to see if our friend is hanging out near the house. And we'll probably see him at some point today. But now that they're on potty, it usually will be time for dinner, but I'm gonna take, or breakfast I should say, but we call it din dins, whether it's breakfast or dinner in our house. And now it's time for Sky to go to get her procedure started. So I'll pick up the camera again in a second. I'm gonna get Sky ready. Okay, Sky, let's go. Good girl. Well, Sky thinks she's going for an individual walk, so she's excited, but. Let's see how she gets on at the vet. She usually gets pretty nervous at the vet, so oh, we're a little bit worried, but they said it was a pretty normal procedure, so let's see. All right, Sky, you gonna get in the car? We've got our Diggs Evolved dog right here, which Sky likes. Go on, in you go, up ups. Go up ups, you want me to carry you? Okay, there you go. And there she's in. It's just a short trip down the road, so she should be okay. Good girl, Sky. You ready? Okay. Right, next stop, the vet. Sky. 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 <laughs> okay, we're... Okay, we're coming back. I bet your coffers by the window. He's not. Well, that's a surprise. I thought he'd be watching out for us. He must be watching Bluey. Copy? They put you behind here, huh? Were you being too noisy, Copper? No! You were. Come on then, buddy. Let's go. Can you go potty? You going potty, Copper? You see, he's walking behind me. Copper's always behind me. He's uh, very much a Velcro dog. So I gotta watch where I walk. When he was a puppy, he used to always be behind me and I stood in him a couple of times by accident. And ever since, he's very cautious around people's feet because he's worried he's gonna be trampled on, which is kind of, um, it's ironic in a way because Copper himself is extremely boisterous and always is knocking over Sky or knocking, trying to knock over Isla, so. He's boisterous when it suits him, but when it comes to walking around, he likes to be well clear of any feet, which is something Sky isn't worried about. So just goes to show all Klikai are different. And we're just walking down here, giving him some fresh air. Not sh not, might take him for a walk. We're just waiting for the vet to call back to see how Sky is doing in case we need to go collect her. Um, let's see if we find Scotty. You see any Scotty Copper, your favorite kitty catty? I don't see the ki kitty cat today. Oh. Do you see him, Copper? I don't see. Oh, we got a par parcel. You want to pick up the parcel with me, buddy? Ooh, this is some clothing for Isla. We're a walking Copper. We're going for our midday walk. 
around the neighborhood. Copper's in his element. You can probably hear the turkey in the background. Copper's got a high prey drive, but he doesn't usually go for the turkeys, so. Oh, we're hiking. Going for a walk that I didn't expect. I tried out a new trail near our house. Here we are. So it's two o'clock in the day. I'm giving Copper a bit extra walk because he needs to lose some weight. We're still going here. Racked up around 50 minutes now, so I know everybody says that Copper's got chunky, so as you can see, he has got a bit chunky. Haven't you, Copper? A bit chunky. But we're going here, almost home. Went to two o'clock in the afternoon, so this is our afternoon routine. The walk is almost finished. I'm gonna try and get into walking the dogs a bit further this year because I used to do it a lot. But since having Isla, I haven't had the time. But now I'm gonna try and get back into it because Copper is gaining so much weight. And I think part of the reason is I don't walk him as much, so. So we are back. We just brought little Sky Sky home from the vet. Everything went really well. She had some teeth extracted. I think she's feeling a bit uh, dazed at the moment. <laughs> but they said everything went really well. She was a champ and when the anesthetic wore off that she was up and about walking. Um, she just has to take it easy for the next few days and we gotta keep her separate from Copper right now. So he's in the other room, no playing right now. Um, so we're just gonna take it easy. So it's eight o'clock and Sky is in her favorite spot, chilling out. She is recovering from the surgery. Archie, Sky, you okay? You okay, she's a little bit spaced out, taking it easy. This is her favorite spot in the world to be between someone's legs. So we're giving her her favorite spot. Copper has been on the other side of that gate most of the afternoon because he was very excited to see Sky, but the veterinary nurse recommended that we keep them separate for now because he could be a bit boisterous, can't you, buddy? And Copper's going to the vet tomorrow, but just for a regular checkup. But um, yeah, around this time of evening, it's now eight o'clock and we're chilling out with the dogs, winding down the sofa before we go to bed. So we're almost at the end of our day.